we really do have um, throughout schools, throughout New Zealand, an escalating crisis of mental distress. We also, at the same time, have a growing body of robust scientific evidence that shows that if we can promote well-being, then we can expect to see a wide variety of positive outcomes from doing so, including student engagement and student results. So we know it's good for students for their well-being, but we also know it's good for them as learners too. The Community Practice of Wellbeing um, has been around about getting schools together um, that have all got a similar concern around wellbeing and their young people and their students and going how do we actually support them to have some conversations, not only think about things isolated in their own school, but across crisis in the city. We challenge and support schools to do a number of things in this space, to connect to Ngāitahu knowledge and ways of being, to take a culturally responsive approach to wellbeing development, to understand the value of uh, indigenous knowledge and approaches, and then to investigate how to apply this kaupapa to wellbeing initiatives and interventions. For our learners, for our tamariki, if they are not feeling well in themselves and about themselves, learning isn't going to happen. And that's why I think prioritising wellbeing is really important. For us, it was an understanding that if we're to make those demands on staff, we've got to look after them because it, it is a marathon and they have to be standing at the end. Uh, there's no point in losing people along the way. Schools need time to actually talk to each other across the schools and that's been really key too because those break down those, those barriers and strengthen the networks across our city which is vital if we want to make true change and populational shift. As an alliance it gives us an opportunity to co-design how do we best do that for our young people and our staff to be in the same room talking the same language around wellbeing um, across all of Waitaha. I think that the work that Grow Waitaha is doing is, is uh, extraordinary. You know, with the wellbeing work it first began the beginning of last year with all 33 secondary kura in Christchurch, whether they were independent, integrated or state, together in one room. That to me signals an appetite for change. For our school it's been really um, great collaborating with the other schools. So we've done some what we sort of call cross-pollination, where we've actually worked with other schools um, in order to help our young people um, with different ideas coming through. Most schools have got three to five people that come along and they're a mixture of staff um, from classroom teachers through to senior management and some schools have their principals join them for those sessions as well. I've always been a strong believer that uh, we have strength in numbers, we have strength if we walk side by side. Um, because no one person or no one kura has all the answers. Uh, and, and while we each sit and work and live in different contexts, there's so much overlap because we're all fundamentally dealing with human beings. Uh, and so that's, that's the constant uh, in, in what we're doing. We know this is not going to be a short-term fix, uh, that it's about schools strengthening those bonds and it's really been a safe place to come together to be able to share knowledge that we can grow collectively as opposed to individually.